Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and this is a demo of conditional notifications in Google Forms. Now this unique and interesting feature will help you send automated email alerts to different email addresses based on the user's answers in the form submission. Now to get started, first we'll install the email notifications add-on from the Google Store. You can also find a link to download this add-on in the show notes. Now all you have to do is click this blue button and it will install in your Google Form in seconds. Next, I'll switch to my Google form and uh, as you will notice, this is a very simple Google form. The user fills in their name, email address, their country, they choose a product from the available options and then they also enter a message. So it's a very, very basic customer support form for a company little gadget store. So for this example, here's what we are trying to do. Uh, when someone fills out this Google form, we want to send them an acknowledgement email saying that we have received your request and our team will get back to you. So let's see how we can do this with the email notifications add-on. Now inside my Google form, I'll go to the add-ons menu. Now this looks in the shape of a puzzle icon. And there you'll see a menu called email notifications for forms. Now inside this, we'll create a new email notification for sending out the acknowledgement emails. Now first we'll add a name of our rule. Now this is for internal use only and this will help you identify rules later when you have more than one rule associated with your Google form. Next we'll specify the email of the person who should receive these notifications. Now I'm adding my own email address here. Uh, but you can also add multiple email addresses and just separate them by a comma. Uh, for this example I'll just add one email address. Next we'll specify the reply to address. So when people reply to your email messages, this is where the replies would come. Now since we want to send an acknowledgement email to the form respondent, we will turn on the notify form submitter option. Now this opens a little drop down with a list of all the questions in the form. So all you have to do is pick the one where the respondent is filling their email address. So our basic configuration is almost complete. We'll move to the next screen where we'll customize the notification emails. Now you have a nice Visivig email editor to design your email notifications. Now first you need to specify the email address from where these notifications would go out. Now you can either set your own email address or you can also send emails on behalf of any other email that is available as an alias in your Gmail account. Now since I don't have any aliases in my Gmail account, I'll just choose the default email address. Next you can put your own name or the name of your company as the sender's name. Now this is the text that will show up as the from name in your emails. Next we'll enter the email subject. Now your subject can have a fixed text and in this case all emails that go out will have the same subject line. But uh, the interesting part is you can also create customized uh, subject lines by adding variable fields that are dynamically replaced with the user's answer. So for instance if the question title is name, you can surround that field with double curly braces and becomes a variable field in the subject line. So when the email notification goes out, that variable field will be replaced with the actual value that the user puts in in the form. Next we'll customize the text of the email message body. Now here again you can use variable fields but you also have a few generic fields available. For instance, um, you can say all answers enclosed inside double curly braces and this will be replaced with a neat table containing all the answers that the user has filled in the form entry. Okay, so our email template is now ready and I'll just quickly save it. Now if you're a premium user, you obviously have an option to remove the branding from your email messages. Then I go to the next screen. Now I'll keep this notification simple, so I'll skip the conditional settings for this example. You also have an option to include the form answers as a neatly formatted PDF in your email messages. So I'll check this option and uh, then you can also customize the name of the PDF that is generated. Uh, the rule is now live so let's test it. I'll open my Google form and submit a test entry.
So the form has been submitted. I go to my Gmail sent items and here you can see that two emails have gone out. One is for the form owner, another is for the form respondent. Now let's set up an advanced rule where we'll specify some conditions and route our emails to different people based on their form answers. So first I'll go to my Google form again and edit the existing notification. Now I'll change my existing rule so that it only sends email to the form respondent and not to the form owner. For everything else, uh, we will use a separate notification. Ok so I have modified my existing rule, now let's create a new rule for setting up conditional notifications. So again we will give it some name, I uh, will keep the email address fields blank as the emails will be decided later based on the conditions. I will also skip the notify submitter section since we already have a rule that is taking care of this. On the next screen we will define the email template as before. Next we go to the condition section and this is something you will really find interesting. Now this opens up a wizard and it's very easy to set up rules here. So you have the form fields on one side and then you have the various comparison operators on the other side. So when, when one or more of these conditions match, you can specify the email address where the notifications should go out. So for this example, let's create a very simple rule where if a country is either say Spain, Germany, France or UK. Then we send the email to one specific email address. Now here's something interesting to note here. Now in the case of UK, a user can either type in UK or they can put United Kingdom as well. So what we'll do is we'll choose a different comparison operator. Instead of saying uh, text equals, we'll say text contains. So we can specify both the possible values UK and United Kingdom. And if the form respondent's answer matches either of these uh, conditions, our rule will be true and the email will go out. Now this is one rule but we can always create more rules per email template so I'll just quickly add one more rule. Now in this new rule we will have a slightly different condition. We'll say if the chosen product is say iPhone and if the country selected by the visitor is say India then we route our emails to a different email address. So our conditions are all set, let's create the rule and then do a quick test with the live Google form. So the form is submitted, I go to my Gmail sent items and it should have triggered two emails, that's right. One should go to the form respondent using our previous rule and the different email to the UK office. And there you have it. I'll show you one more setting that you should be aware of. Now if you go to your manage settings menu, uh, it will show you all the list of rules that you have in your Google form. 
So from here, you can either edit an existing rule, uh, you can delete it, or you can even clone it. So make a duplicate copy of the rule. Also, the Google form by default will use the PST uh, time zone for the notifications. But if you are in a different time zone, you can just go to this page and modify the default date format as well as choose your correct time zone. With conditional notifications for Google Forms, keeping the right people and your teams in the loop have never been so easy. Now this add-on is purely for sending out email notifications. But if you are looking for generating PDF and other documents from your Google Form submissions, do check out my new add-on Document Studio. It is available at documentstudio.pro. Thank you.